everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So you'll notice a little bit different format that I'm using for my reviews uh, this time around. Uh, that's because uh, I make these 15 to 20 minute reviews that are unscripted and they're kind of rambling. And uh, somebody even said that I was boring. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, we got a little bit different change going on. So uh, the guitar that I'm reviewing today is the Volgoa VSR-1. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for $149 with free delivery for Prime members. Uh, the model is the VSR-1. Uh, it's got a mahogany body, really nice flame maple top in what they're calling gradual blue. Uh, it's got a roasted maple neck, a uh, rosewood fretboard, although the Amazon listing does say that this is high pressure laminate, but uh, I don't think so. It looks like rosewood or it's Indian laurel, something like that, but it's definitely actual wood. It's not uh, It's not a pressed wood or the uh, rich light uh, like the uh, some of the guitars are using nowadays. Uh, it's got some really cool abalone uh, looking fret dots. I uh, don't know if they are abalone or if they're just some kind of plastic, but they've got a real swirly looking blue in there and everything. Uh, two humbuckers, three-way switch, locking tuners. That's kind of cool. Chrome hardware. Uh, did have a plastic nut. We'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, Two-point tremolo with your vibrato. We'll get to that in a little bit too because there's some notes on that. Uh, it's got some really cool knurled knobs. I like the knurled knobs. Tone and volume knobs. Uh, a couple string trees up there. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale length, one and five eighths inch nut. That would be a 41.275 millimeter. And it's got a quarter inch string spacing on it. The string spacing at the top is pretty tight uh, compared to at the bottom. It starts to flare out. You've got two inch width at the 12th fret and two and a quarter inch width at the 24th fret. So yes, this is a 24 fret guitar. Uh, the neck is a compound flat C shape and the fretboard has got a 15 inch radius on it. So let's talk about what is good about this guitar. First of all, it looks amazing. It's a very beautifully done uh, guitar. It's got some great uh, contours here. Uh, with, they've got that comfort contour cut out for, for your hands so you can get down there and reach those uh, really high frets. Uh, it's got the humbucker pickups. It's got the cool uh, uh, rotary sort of dial that you use to adjust the uh, truss rod width. And uh, let's see what else. Blue paint on the back. It's a mahogany body, like I said, with the flame maple cap. And it's actually got a, I think it's a mahogany binding around it because that looks like a little bit different wood than the flame maple, but maybe not. And of course, it's got the stainless steel ball and frets. So no sharp fret ends here. Uh, sounds really good, as you could hear in the sound examples. Uh, all the lead guitar in those sound examples was played on this guitar. Uh, and the chords, the clean chords in the middle sort of jazzy bluesy section that was that was this uh, guitar as well. And then it also has a two point tremolo uh, system uh, with uh, these are the cast uh, saddles. I don't know if these are stainless might be, but they're really nice looking. It's got a small trem block in it. It's actually painted black for some reason. It's kind of interesting. And it uh, did stay in tune for me after I tuned it up and the strings were kind of stretched out uh, using the trem on it. It did stay in tune. Okay, the bad. Couple things to take note of this particular guitar. Uh, the nut uh, was plastic. It also wasn't seated properly. The, there was a gap on the high side of the nut. And uh, when I pulled it off to replace it, there's a lot of CA glue in there. So I don't know if they didn't get it placed in there quite tight. And so it just didn't rest flat. And then I think to overcompensate for that, they filed uh, the nut slots deeper so that once I did clean all that gunk out of there and seated the nut in there correctly, then all the strings were bottomed out <laughs> against the uh, frets. So I just took a nut off of one of my other guitars 
I think this is this is also a plastic nut. And, and now the fret, you know, the string height is perfect. And even down at the bottom, it's pretty good. And I did have to adjust the truss rod because the neck was bowed a little bit. And then one other thing is the trim arm. It's not the kind that screws in, it's just the kind that drops in and it doesn't stay. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing holding it in. There's no, oh, there is a set screw. Okay, there's a little Allen screw here. That's what I was missing. And the Allen wrench that comes with it, hopefully, is the right size. Okay, that's better. Okay, so ignore that. It's got a little set screw in there, and now it stays in. There you go. And like I said, it does stay in tune. So anyway, there you go. That's all I've got uh, for this, uh, this guitar. Uh, I want to keep things short and sweet now because I got these uh, videos that are 15 to 20 minutes long and the average view duration on the videos is five minutes. Uh, so, and a lot of people are complaining that, uh, you know, things just aren't that interesting. So here we go. We'll see if this new format works out for you. And uh, I got some more videos coming up soon and we'll see you next time here on Jay Salen Guitar.